Greetings, Renoff Tales here, bringing you part 7 of the Byzantine Empire series. And last I left off, uh, it's been quite a few days actually since I last played. And uh, I do remember, uh, well, my mother died in childbirth, giving birth to my brother, who's zero, zero years old. And I kind of inherited an empire who's in the middle of being sandwiched between the uh, Mongol Empire, who's actually become relatively weak at 33,000 men. We should be able to hold them off. Though on the other hand, we have the Aztec Empire, which has kind of grown a bit powerful. On the other hand, they um, still have 75,000 men, which we cannot really compete against. So if they do attack us, we're kind of still a bit screwed and we still need lots of money. So if any war is going to happen, we need to definitely think about uh, how we're going to take them on. Because currently, if we're going to win, we need money, of course. And to get money, we need to sit on taxes for quite a bit, so we don't need, can't really spend money. So in the meantime, I think I'm not going to set, I'm going to set the retinue to not reinforce itself. So these men will sit here. And I'll try to make sure I don't send enough, a lot of gifts so I can actually maintain a large treasury. Because if any war appears between us and the Aztecs, we're, we're going to lose. And if there's going to be any war against us, it's probably either going to be... Well, let's see. It's probably going to, Are we going to assume mainly for France? Because they are going for... I think they're going for Lyon. But they're getting close to our borders, especially in North Africa and uh, Iberia. But the Mongol hold, I'm not all too worried. What I am concerned about is trying to expand my territories in some sort of way, and the Cumanians are kind of restricted that. Because they kind of taken the Kingdom of Hungary, and we kind of actually want the Kingdom of Hungary. So if we're going to expand in any sort of way, we need to start not just kicking out the uh, Cumanians out of the land, out of this land here. Or we fight the large empire of the Ayyubid, Ayyubid, which is kind of you know, very more powerful than I am. Which you can't really afford to do. And of course we only have about. Give or take. 160 years left. 100. Yeah 160 years. So it's not a lot of time. But it's plenty. Of, it's enough time to get continue forward. But if you're going to actually become a. Large player in the world stage. We need to start thinking about how we're going to expand. And so it's actually brings an excellent opportunity for us to go and pretty much see what religion we want to swap to. Because we are Orthodox. And I could switch over as Orthodox to uh, Catholicism, uh, probably not Sunni. Tengri, but the main thing is either choosing an Orthodox or a Catholic, um, or Catholic heresy to choose from to switch. And so the one way I'm thinking about trying to, well, go forward is probably go orthodox so we can actually steal some of this land here. And so if we look at people who, is, who are not my religion, we can probably find someone that can pretty much train us to be a different religion. And in doing so, we at the very least will improve, or at least be able to declare war in some form of fashion. So we'll sign a guardian, we'll send ourselves to go be taught by someone who is the incorrect religion. So we'll, we'll be Polician, and the Policians are someone who is pretty much the, uh, oh, actually, my father's actually teaching me. Though he is a dutiful clerk. Actually, you know what? They'll do fine. But Policians cannot actually, uh, well, they can still declare holy wars, which is something I want. And uh, from here, if I'm the incorrect religion, or the false religion of Orthodox, I should be able to expand the Empire this way, and still be able to declare Holy Wars in this direction. That does mean the Empire will st destabilize, but it can also um, move some titles in order to rebalance the realm. So we'll see if we can go from there. Let's see, I was playing out with Kale we're close to the abandoning haunted house. We're not supposed to be the go there, and Kale's looking frightened. Um maybe to Willful. Nope. So if we go back now. And if we don't, she'll tell on me. Okay. Things children do. See the Queen of Bulgaria got attacked by thugs. Now severely wounded. She you knows kind of uh 
your job to not get attacked. But if you need to be switched out, let's see. Actually, all your stats are all rubbish, so not much I can do about you. So you have a peasant revolt that revolted. So I'll just take a few thousand men here. A jihad for Africa. Take a second look at that. So the Sunni Caliphate Kali has signed to declare jihad on the deprivent heathens of the Kingdom of Africa. He is all religious Sunni Muslims to partake in a righteous struggle against the of the Aztec Empire for the glory of Islam. Which is kind of actually amusing. So the Dijul Kingdom of Africa now, which is this title here, which is uh, Young Boy Shithold? Actually, no one, no one owns the Kingdom of Africa. But that means that the Sunnis are going to war against the Aztec Empire. Which I think is glorious. It'll definitely weaken them. And then now be all time to strike, at the very least. The Mongol Empire also has decided to annex the Kingdom of Rus, which is concerning. I mean, there goes the Russians, Russian, <laughs> Russian culture. What is that? That's not that's non-existent. Anyway, that was a fun uh, vault to fight. Not really a major rebellion, so we don't get opinion bonus for that. I do have a counter position open. Spymaster, did my oh she died? So you died, bedridden and infirm. So you got beaten up at uh, doing your job. I might invest some money and uh, tax income, which actually is not a bad idea. Because the one thing I just do want is an absolute amount of money. So yeah, I'll go and definitely, uh, with these new cities I've actually made, I'll improve the tax income of each province. Let's see, behalf of all your prisoners, so this, let's see, this count here who kind of hates me, is wanting to get out, and he hates me because my opinion predecessor, because I moved the kingdom of Bulgaria under you. And you are the Blet, so I think I'll just keep you in prison until your heir who likes me will be in charge. I thought you can't murder you because I'm a child. What's that stopping me, really? And a new realm. Can Kobusa Kapathia has decided to abandon nomadic life and settle down with Kapathia and his followers, making a new homeland for the Kuman people. Huh? Wait, so this one guy here has made an empire title? Excuse me? So one of these horse lords decided to just create his own single province empire. It's that boastful, isn't it? I don't think you're gonna get go. You're not gonna get very far. Doing so. Could I take your? I could take the empire, Carpathia. It's uh, slightly amusing. Oh, and Cumania's all in revolt. Wow. Let's see, so what is this war for? Someone else in charge? Oh yes, yeah, so a new leadership. If only it was an independent movement, then I could take all of Hungary. That'd be utterly convenient. It's been a long day outside and uh this courtier says it's time to head back home. She's carrying several heavy bags. Maybe it's time I, I could beat her. Yeah, mainly to playful. And I uh, gain playful just diplomacy. It's a good thing to get. And my father. No, it's not my father. Why are you my regent? Did that guy die? Ah, he died. That's uh, quite a shame. 
The Aztecs has reached Cairo and found the Great Pyramids of Geyser to be unlikely heard, unlikely anything they previously encountered. They surpassed even the largest pyramids of Kumanak, and the Aztec High Priest has declared the surrounding area to be the holiest location outside of Notre Dame. <laughs> Great. They have expanded. Um, well, they're winning the Jihad, but they have lost, I think, 20,000 men. Which is progress. Not the progress I'm exactly looking for, but it is progress. When I get old enough, I'm going to try and do an invasion just to retake Egypt. And hopefully that cut down the Aztec Empire quite a bit. And again, another barony has now been transferred under me. Look, I just want you all to give me more money. That's all I want. And a jihad for Egypt. So there's two, two of these now. Two jihads for Africa and for Egypt. It's brilliant. After supper, me and Petros were forced to do dishes, but I was clever and hid them until Petros told me, and now I have to do all of it. Um, bits of rivals, Petros making contentious. Now let's run away. Gain the prestige. I already have a thousand prestige as a child. Let's see, the King of France wants more power. But can I just give you a title instead and not make you happy? Get rid of this faction. There we go. And I think the Aztec Empire is probably taking a few knocks from both jihads. I'll just start actually for the 8,000. Just need to get rid of that event spawn troops. I've been praying with priests for a while and some of the other people at the temple are ready to get to leave. Gain Entrigue. Gain Idolizer. So I think Entrigue might be good. Yeah, definitely. And the Jihad for Africa fails. Uh, I feel the other one goes a bit better. We can close the gates. Which, um, yeah, it's a pretty good idea. We have a uh, slow consumption here, actually. Not slow fever. So I'll shut the gates and make sure we don't actually die. My cousin has to go. She's been deemed sick. And hopefully it will last out the uh, disease. And I lack a focus, so since we have zero diplomacy still, we're going to get a diplomatic education. Keep at it. And the Aztecs spread the disease. There's no end to the evils of the Aztecs have afflicted upon this land. A strange disease emanating, emanating from the conquest territories began to spread throughout the old world. The symptoms are similar to those of the great, dreaded Great Pox, but the cursed plague seemed to be even more virulent. Men skilled the art of medicine have dubbed it syphilis, and all attempts to treat it have gone with a bit of failure. Even now, those beyond the reach of the Aztec armies are in peril at this disease, called by refugees and merchants, swept across Europe and the Middle East like an unstoppable tidal wave. Can you punish for sins? No, we're just being attacked by this new... new disease. Actually, not we've seen it. Uh, I don't really want to spend the money, but I think we're going to go and buy, build a hospital. Just so that we can recover a lot faster from diseases in the capital. And I still love playing with others and I still do, so I'm getting gregarious, that's a pretty good trait. And I've spent a lot of time with a few people, we've been positively surprised by Gregorus, brother. During this difficult time we've gotten to know and understand him well, in many ways he compliments you nicely and have a good time together. So at least me in front of my brother, so if we eventually compete for the throne it will all be terrible. Anyway, hospitals and built. Make a sick house out of it. And smallpox spreads across the sea. Seems that plunder and slaves are not the only thing the Aztec sailors have brought back with them from their own shores. Rumors have trickled back to the old world, telling stories of smallpox, pandemic sweeping across the Aztec Empire and its neighbors. The streets and alleys of Tenochtitlan are sent to be littered with the dead and die, and the Aztec Emperor has commanded the immediate execution of all slaves and prisoners captured on the great eastern continent in the effort to stem. Stem the spread of disease. 
Ooh. So they give us a disease and we give them one. Sounds about even. So hopefully that means the Aztec Empire loses a lot of their troop count. Which they kind of slightly, but it's only... They still have 25,000 event spawn troops. And once those troops are gone, I'll make it a lot easier to take them down. And look, if risk goes up, this amount to me. A successful jihad for Egypt. Excuse me. They actually won. And the Emperor. I could have warned someone. So, it turns out. The Shias actually won, while the Sunnis did not. Wow. Well, so turn out Punjab actually got it. And now this province, these two provinces are just completely far away from one another. Sort of the same thing that we do with France. Delicacies from the far west. Born disease not only the things that the Aztecs have brought with them from Sim Simaruac, the distant homeland. The diet includes several strange plants that are supposedly edible, and many of them are now enjoyed in the delic exotic delicacies and courts from Europe and the Middle East. After trading with Aztec merchants, enterprising farmers have sowed the fields with the seeds of the plant called potato. While other experiment with tomatoes and maize, many nobles, however, become enamored with a sweet drink called chocolate made with the beans of the coca tree. After the council meeting, uh, my priest asked me to change a few, exchange a few words in private. Apparently he's uncovered a rumor regarding a rare artifact. Constantinos believed that he had some truth to the rumor and urged me to have a search arranged. So yeah, let's go search for it. See him on 14, I still haven't changed religion. Which is a bit concerning. My father's not really doing a good job at making his policeman. But we spent a few weeks over ancient tomes and scrolls in search of more informative information regarding the Roman artifact. He claims on the right path, but apparently the progress is slow. Constantinos asked me to do asked me to order the best scholars of the Byzantine Empire Adam. And ooh. It's only five years, so we'll keep at it. And it does look like the disease has mostly gone away. Consumption's almost gone. So open up the gates. Commoners don't really know us anymore. And we'll also probably spend a bit of money improving the sick house. So, you know, disease actually goes away in Constantinople quickly. Before the Black Plague, of course, because that means we've got about 50 years before that's going to happen. And then we got more technology. And I suppose we'll go and improve town infrastructure, because I do want to be able to get more taxes from them. I'll also get a um, town market built as well. You know, I don't care about any other things in your city as long as you're just getting me more, getting me more money. And those improvements actually has slightly improved the monthly balance. And we have a dangerous faction growing. Of course, the French king is rebelling. Let's see. He uh, wants more power for the council power. So, we'll not be blackmailed. We do have a bit of money, which is not ideal. We can't have more money than that. But we can try and see how powerful the revolt is. 50,000. And we don't even have enough. Well, on the plus side, it's not the end of the world. On the other side, it's almost in the world. So we'll round up all the boats. We'll attack when we can attack. Uh, though all the French troops actually probably won't be too much of a problem. Especially since they have to travel all the way here. So at the very least, we do have the advantage of uh, trying to see on this land here. And I am... Um, uh, I finished my education in diplomacy. It was a fascinating subject. I'm under the hand of rogue. Which is, like, kind of bad. So I'll try to get a family focus. We never changed religion. 
So we need to go actually find a wife who will give answers to be otherwise. So anyone that's not polygamist, Polician, 13 years old. I'm not the biggest fan of it. It's a relative barren. Lose some prestige. Go for it. Also, I'm really ugly. I'm really fat. Let's cover a bit, bit better. There we go. Maybe. And it looks a bit better. Can't really tell. Well, still, we need to go get some uh, mercenaries on the go. Of course, we hire the Venerian Guard with us. Um, I think it's. I'm really going to buy a cheap band. I don't think we need that many troops. 225. Let's go for it. We have our own 30,000 men that we can use. And once we get everyone here, all the boats, we can now start using uh, cheap tactics to kill the revolts. Like that. So it's kind of cheap, but this uh, rebellion is a bit cheap as well. It's good to know. Uh, another 18,000 men will just go and uh, sail across. Uh, it's actually a bit more men than we kind of expect, so we'll go and just march, get some more. Well, at least morale. But we still won. And uh, this is how we're going to win. Ironically. There's another 10,000 men. Let's march over. They lost a lot of men to attrition. So we'll just uh, win that battle. And the men from France haven't gone. haven't met us yet. Which I'm a bit worried, which probably means they're going to be here soon. 1.1% uh, attrition's too much. Go here, attack them. And they're all stra starting to get some more men because they see that they're losing. But same token, we start sitting on men here so we can finally finish sieging down some provinces and we should be able to win the war or at least get white peace. Let's see, we lost some military points. Probably means we just need to welcome the choose back. Which means another that uh, another thousand gold when we need it. So my call to him make a move with her. I gave her could tumble. And let's go have some assaults on some provinces. Oh we get these coastal provinces here. Back off to the boat, eliminate some more armies, and we should be able to call it peace soon. I also do need ambition. So we'll groom an heir. And we need an advisor and a steward. So since I'm in the quest for more money, I've got to ask for money. And for other advisor, we'll just go get the... Um... Yeah, I'll put this guy in charge. Powerful enough. And the civil was actually very important because it also means, on the same token, we could probably revoke the uh, King of France title holding and we can rearrange some titles since uh, we can revoke based on religion. Revoke titles based on religion. Anyway, I have a illegitimate child, but we'll name him that name. And we'll, relig we'll legitimize him. May as well. And uh, white peace, no thank you. Uh, the, any provinces we can just take quickly. I don't want to be losing um, and that fast. And there we go, rebellion over. So now since we have you in charge, um, no, first off, we'll ma make happy all the people who are in our court. That we need to make happy. And since the uh, King of France is a traitor, we'll just remove the uh, kingdom title here. 
And he'll be very upset about it, but we can bury him under the Kingdom title again. And here's the correct religion, but it also means that we now have access to all of France's holdings. So now I can actually start revoking everyone. Uh, actually, no, I can't. Most have every right to revoke your titles. Uh, it looks like some people are the same religion. No, I actually can't do that. It's really interesting. It would have said if I'm able to revoke titles based on religion, but apparently not. And we'll just find someone who's going to say yes, and we'll see how much opinion is going to drop because of this. So she hates me a lot more, but is everyone else that's in the realm hating me because of that? Think about this. Yeah, so apparently even though they are the incorrect religion, I can't revoke titles. Yeah, that makes total sense. Well, that's fun. But we'll give the kingdom of France to someone else who's more worthy of it. Uh, probably just give it to the person who's actually our religion. So, there you go. Congratulations. So that slightly works. And you already automatically want independence, excuse me. Let's see, as I returned my chambers, I was shocked to find a copy of the Catholic the Bible on my bed. At first I thought it was someone had left it there in terms of the framing, but then I noticed a little note in the top of the tome. I think you'll find it's interesting. Please give a chance to sign a friend. And so let's read it. The copy of Catholic the Bible found in much Chambers have been left open on passage of legendary war, the brave heroes who fought and defend the Catholic faith. The story intrigued me to make enough of my me to continue reading. Over the course of a few weeks, I finished the entire tome. Um, well, I don't want to become Catholic, really. I want to become the incorrect religion. Also, don't want to die. Why didn't I ever marry my wife? Well, we're not changing the Catholicism. But what I do need to do... Let's find someone to marry. Apparently the betrothal never happened. So we'll just search the uh, realm again. Search the world again. Let's marry you. So. There we go, make me a son. I do have a son, yeah. Well, my first day at least will grow enough. Uh, Cumania, well, they haven't done anything yet. We could fight for some other claims. It's your claims. Like the worst claims you can take. Though we can liberate land. Though unfortunately this is all for very small areas. Well, we have to start somewhere, and you don't really have a lot of land. So, we'll definitely just take, um... I'll take Moldau. That is being seized by someone else. Well, actually, everyone wants to liberate their land from you. Okay. Let's go and declare war. And take, uh... That's all the... Beautiful land. Take uh, Rashka. And the gold I spent for in fact investigations. 300 gold? I don't have that kind of money. I kind of do, but I just don't want to give it to you. So, we'll send these men here. Split them off, go here. And my wife, uh, the wife of the wife of the Kiev has been a few days Constantinople. Now I'm going to get an Pact, why not? 
And I have a new son, a legitimate son. Name after my father. And my physicians worry about my newborn, so yep, we'll do best to treat my son. And he loses sickly. So huzzah, he's actually gonna live. My actual legitimate son. My priest has been spent weeks over ancient tomes and scrolls in search for more information regarding the rumored artifacts. Claims of your right path apparently progress is slow. So it'll just take another five years to look for it. Slow down technology speed. It's a bit unfortunate. But at the very least, horse lords don't really make a um They don't really make good uh, castles, so they're easier to just assault. Oh, I'm at 99% because I haven't fought a single army of theirs. But there you go. And more land is under our, our realm. Which I believe is just random people here. So, since you kind of like us, we'll give you some money and we'll just demand your religious conversion. Same here. To be freed you from the clutches of the evil, evil horse lords. And we'll also make you a duchy, though we can't actually do that. The Ubid's revolting. Actually, let's see. Could have declared war for Sinai. <laughs> now, stop the Aztecs. They're actually, a boy's ruling. He only has 35,000 men. Ooh. So actually, I kind of want you to take Egypt. Though I could declare Holy War for Alexandria. It could be a stretch, but we could start fighting to get our land back. Or get some land back. But yeah, we could start retaking Egypt. I'll just start just taking it. Not retaking it. Well, we kind of retaking it. Long, long time ago we had it. Does that count? But yeah, I think uh, from here, I think it's now since it's taking a bit of land, we're going to go and actually declare one on the Aztec Empire so we can start taking more land back and take uh, Egypt. Though first, I want to wait for them to finish their war for Egypt. First off. Though it looks like they are winning somehow with 9,000 men. But once they take Egypt, we could do a grand conquest of Egypt and then just take all this land for ourselves. So regardless though, I think I'm going to take a break here and I'll see you in the next part. Goodbye.